Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You watch the cook with Brent, a special St. Patrick's Day edition. And um, tonight, Chef Brent is going to be making m homemade mint Oreo cookies, all right? On the St. Patrick's Day edition of Cooking with Brent, ladies and gentlemen. So, tune in right here, right now, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go on our ingredients, shall we? You're going to need uh, flour, you're going to need granulated sugar, unsweetened cocoa powder, you're going to need baking soda, and you're going to need some salt, alright? That's what you need for this recipe, alright? What you're going to do first, you're going to mix up your dry ingredients, okay? I repeat, mix up your dry ingredients, alright? First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna to mix it up right now, all right? See that? So I mix up my dry ingredients first. See that? That's what you do, all right? Mix them up. Mix up your dry ingredients first. You have to mix it up first before you add your wet ingredients, all right? And also you're gonna need butter, one large egg, as well, all right? We'll get to the filling ingredients a little later on the show, all right? All right? See that? That's, that's, that's how it is, all right? Once you mix it up, you should have something looking like this, all right? We'll come to you with the next step. We went to the show, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, right now we're going to add our our egg in there. Once you add your egg in there, you're going to uh, mix it slowly, all right? Try to make it very slow, all right? See that? That's what you're looking for, all right, ladies and gentlemen? Especially the next time we come back. I'm going to show you, gentlemen, all right, and uh, go around. Six tablespoons of butter on, on, and I want to make sure your butter's at room temperature, right? Okay? Yeah? Have butter blended all together, alright ladies and gentlemen? We'll come to you when we're all done. We're going to show ladies and gentlemen, I'm forming my cookie dough nice and well. See my rolling it out? That is what you have to do, all right? Roll your dough out. Roll it, roll it out to get nice and uh, kind of big, all right? You see that? That's what you're looking for, all right? Yeah, and, try, and also try to dust off any flour, right? Dust off the excess flour. That's what you have to do, okay? I'm coming to you when we're all done. All right, well, well welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I already rolled down my uh, cookie dough. I'm going to cut them up into like circles. I don't have no cookie cutter, but you can use a round cookie cutter if you want to, or you can use um, any or something with a cookie cutter, like a cup or anything, but I'm going to use this one, all right? We're gonna do, I'm gonna do the first one for you, how it's done, right? Like this. All right? Have them finish it like a circle like this one, all right? And then, and, and then you go like this, all right? Once you have, once you have it shaped up, it should look something like this, like a circle. Something like this, all right? But when we make it in the oven, it kind of spreads, all right? We'll come back to you when we're all done, all right? We'll make a cookie brand, ladies and gentlemen. Already rolled out our cookies in our in our bacon foil pan here. And um, we're going to bake this in the oven for something like 9 to 12 minutes. The, um, right now, Chef Brent is shooting for the maximum, all right? We'll come back to you when we're all done, okay? All right, man, we're back to cooking with Brent, ladies and gentlemen. 
And our cookies have been nicely done baked in the oven. Nice and soft that is. That's what you're looking for. I, I shoot for 9 to 10 minutes anyway. That's the maximum for me. And yes indeed, we're going to let these cool right now. And then we're going to do our... Then we're going to about to make our buttercream fro... Buttercream, uh... Frosting for our cookies, alright? When we come back. We're going to make sure we're going to do our buttercream frosting mixture. And also, you can buy the store brought if you want. If you decide, if you, you can skip this by using store brought frosting. As long as it's green, you can use it, okay? Alright, I have my butter, my confectioner's sugar, and also known as powder sugar, milk, and green food coloring. We're gonna give this a mix. We're gonna mix this up all in together, alright? I'm using a fork as, I'm using a fork for this one. You can use a hand mixture if you want, alright? Yeah. I'm gonna add my milk. And then just gonna add the milk little by little until we have a nice and even coated up buttercream mixture, alright? You could use a heavy whipping cream if you want, alright? Okay, we're good. We're going to see when we're all done. And we're going to the show. And also, I'm already adding my green food coloring. I'm going to add some more into this as well. Just to kind of give it like a kind of green color you want. Kind of shade of green. See that? That's what we're looking for, ladies and gentlemen. And um, pour, I'm going to pour in a little bit of milk. That's the, I don't want it too thick or too thin. This is just right for me, alright? Yeah. This, this looks good, alright? The point two, when it's time to fill up, do it all real quick, alright? We'll be right back. Alright, everyone, here's how we're going to scoop this up. You're going to grab your buttercream mixture. Mixture. I'm gonna scoop this up here, and then you're gonna grab one of these and do it like this. All right, just like a real Oreo cookie. You see that? That's what you're looking for, right? I'm only gonna do some of them. The rest I'll do later on on Cookie with Brent, ladies and gentlemen. We'll come up with a taste test. All right. Action. All right, everyone. I'm going to with Brent. And now, we're doing the taste test right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's taste test in time, y'all. All right? Mmm. These homemade Oreo cookies are delicious. It tastes good to perfection, all right? This is good. Just right. Okay? Yeah, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for to cook with Brent on St. Patrick's Day edition. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And yes, these homemade Oreo mint flavored cookies are delicious. It tastes good to perfection, alright? As always, thanks for watching. Catch the next episode of Cook with Brent. Take care, good night, and have a blessed weekend, everyone.